It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. back on the proven ground here tonight and even dating to the ultimate fighter back in 2015 you got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special he was able to cap it with the ufc championship he's back on the horse here tonight he has this undying belief in himself he believed that through hard work all the results will show and they have for kamar usman from the pace and pressure he put on dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on woodley he shows now and in those fights why He's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, early round action here, and keep an eye on that jab of Kamar Usman, right? I don't have to tell a lot of you who are listening tonight that he has gone to great lengths to develop that with Trevor Whitman, and that has really helped him set up his takedowns, but he wants to box tonight. He feels like this matchup is a striking matchup for him. We'll see if he can put those words into action here tonight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from his hook. Usman gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh! Whiffs 
on the straight way home. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, beautiful hook by his... So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it all. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh! And Mitch is in a takedown. Why not? Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Deuce trying to finish the fight. Oh, tense moment here. That arm trying to fight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just out of range. Oh, nice connection by him there. And that shot actually cut him open, champ. Oh. starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused about where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reaction now as he goes for it. Yes, the single power time now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice short uppercut in the clinch by Usman. And now some distance as they pull apart. until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. Oh! You heard him. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting his head. He's hurt! He's hurt! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead. That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm Ready interested fight. to see what changes Ready. he makes to give himself Good. an opportunity. Round two here. Oh, and a nice counter there with 
the hook after he blocked the previous shot. to get up here and let the opponent up. Great timing on that double leg. Great job finding his shots from the top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Usman's in half guard. Both fighters get up now. the takedown, no problem. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Us. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Hooked there by the champ. Big ground and pound. Hammer fist here by Usman. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with those. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. Right. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Cody Covington fight. Not only is he the best walker in the world, he may just be the toughest. Oh! oh my goodness. Oh! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire...